Hi, my name is Anthony Suarez with OVH Cloud, and today I'd like to show you how easy it is to add a managed database service to your OVH Cloud account. Let's begin by going to the Public Cloud tab of your OVH Cloud control panel. If we scroll down, we'll notice that right below Containers and Orchestration, we have Databases and Analytics. Our database services are broken down into three main categories. There's the databases, then data streaming services, and data analysis services. For the purposes of this example, let's just go with data analysis services. We'll click on data analysis. We're taken to the databases as a service information page because we haven't ordered any databases yet. So let's click on create a database instance. And immediately we're taken to the order page. In the center pane, we have all of our options for the database. On the right-hand pane, there is a panel for the price. As we make different choices, the price adjusts according to whatever choices we make. Also, on the pricing, we have the option of hourly or monthly. So let's start our order. Let's go with an open search database today. And you'll notice that under service plans, we have three flavors available for open search. Each database service offering will have different service plans available. In this instance, we have essential, business, or enterprise. These determine the sizes and the number of nodes that will be available for open search. So let's go with, stay with essential. The next option is what region our database will be located in. We have in the US either Oregon or Virginia, so let's leave it at Virginia for now. The next option is node type. We have different flavors. These are the actual descriptions of the instances that the database will be run on. So again, let's leave it at DB14. With cluster sizing, we're looking at the storage options available for our service. Now in this offering, we start off with a DB14 with 40 gigabytes of storage, but we're given the option to choose the amount of additional storage we want to purchase based on 10 gigabyte increments. So we come over here, if we wanted to add 10 or 20 extra gigabytes of storage, you'll notice that on the right hand side the price changes accordingly. Finally, we decide whether we want to have a public network with a public IP address or do we want to have this instance running on the private network of OVH? Once all the choices are made, we simply have to click the order button. We're now on the page describing the database as it's being created. A couple of things to notice while it's being created. The database is named based on random words. So in this case, our example is open search impolite maru. Once the database is completed, we'll be able to change that name. 